Question 10. Uh, the question basically reads, consider the following truth table and implementation. This is the truth table, this is the implementation. Um, which of the following statements are true about the circuit shown? One, the line labeled S is correct. Two, the line labeled T is correct. And three, the line labeled U is correct. Now, the only way that I know of to quickly check this out is to just verify the truth table and the uh, diagram and see if there's any errors in there. Well, <clears throat> we know that if P is zero, then, uh, and, uh, well, we can just go through it one, one at a time. If P is zero, and Q is zero, and R is zero, then then let's take a look at X. Basically, if P is zero, then not P is going to be one. So we have a one and a one here. Uh, if Q is zero, then not Q is going to be a one. And that's going to be ones here. And if R is zero, then not R is going to be a one here, which is enough to get X equals one. So that works. So now let's try Y. If P is a zero, then Y is, this one's going to be a zero. If, um, if uh, Q is a zero, then this one's going to be zero. So these two are both going to be zeros. And that's going to be a zero. So we know this checks out. Line one. I know it's time consuming, but basically it's the only way of going about it. Uh, with P and Q, being 0 but R is 1. Now we have, uh, again, because P and Q are 0, Y is going to still be 0. But now let's take a look what happens to X. If, um, if R is 1, then that means this one is going to be a 1. Uh, not Q is going to be a 1. And not P is going to be a 1. So this is going to be a 1. So X will be a 1. Because it can choose one of those things. So this checks out. Now let's try if P is 0, Q is 1, and R is 0. If P is 0, then X will be, then P is, not P is going to be 1, so X will be both 1's from the P dimension. Uh, Q, if Q is 1, then not Q is going to be 0. So both of these are going to be zero, so x has to be zero, and x is zero. Okay, so if p is one of the... Now let's check for y. If p is zero, y will be zero here. If q is zero, q is one though, so that one might not be... So here we have p is zero, so this one's going to be a zero. This one's going to be r is zero, so not r is one, okay? Q is 1, and not P is 1. So 1, 1, 1. So 1 and 0, so Y is going to be a 1. So this checks out. If P is 0, and uh, Q is 1 again, and R is 1 this time, now we have the reverse situation. If, uh, if P ends up being, um, for, for X, P is going to be still 0, so it'll be 1 and 1, because not P is 1. For Q, it's 1, so not Q is 0 and 0. So these are, these are going to both be 0, so X is going to be 0. For Y, if P is 0, this one will be 0. If um, not P will be 1, Q is 1, so that works out. And then not R. R is 1, so not R is 0, so this is a 0. So now we have 0 and 0, so Y is 0. So that checks out. Basically, we can check through all of them, I guess. Um, here, P is 1, so the... Um, um, P is 1, so if... if uh, well, let's do x first. If p is 1, then not p is 0. Both not p's go to this, so x has to be 0, which it is true. If p is 1, 
x always has to be 0. So x has to be 0 for all of these. We just checked them all. Whenever p is 1, that means not p is 0 and x is going to be 0. Now for y, if uh, p is 1, um, that could be 1. And uh, let's see here, if q is 0, that's going to be 0 and that's going to be 0. So if q is 0, y's got to be 0. So if q is 0, y has to be 0. So now we've checked both of these. Those are correct. We know if p is 1, x always has to be 0. We know if q is 0, y always has to be 0. Now let's check p is 1, q is 1. We know about x. Let's check, let's check on y. So p is 1. That's fine. q is 1. So that's fine. And r is 0. So not r is 1. So this is a 1. So here, y is a 1. That checks out. Last item. If P is 1, Q is 1, and R is 1, we have P is 1, Q is 1, R is 1, so not R is 0. That's a 0 here. And again, not R is 0 here. So Y has to, if, if, y, if R is 1, Y, not R is 0, therefore Y has to be 0. So that checks out. So the answer is E. It asks the question, which of the following statements are true? The answer is E. One, two, and three. All the statements are true. These, these lines here are all three correct.